Today, there are many updates on the situation at the front. In the Pokrovsk direction, Russian soldiers are trying to break through the Ukrainian defense in the settlement of Hrodivka. The Ukrainian army has an advantage due to the large number of FIV drones that have arrived in recent days. The general staff reports eight soldiers killed and 12 wounded. Among civilians, only a few injuries have been reported. Fierce battles are also taking place in the town of Ukrainsk, which is also located in the Pokrovsk direction. The distance from Ukrainsk to the city of Pokrovsk is only 10 kilometers. This is a very important strategic point, as around 50,000 civilians still reside there. It is known that since yesterday, water and gas have been cut off due to artillery shelling. The general staff reports the evacuation of the population, but unfortunately, many people are refusing to leave their homes. As for the town of Ukrainsk, the armed forces of Ukraine are doing everything possible to hold back the offensive. The Russian army is making advances in the settlements of Nivelsk and Krasnorivka, located in the Kurakov direction. Things are especially tense in Krasnorivka right now. The Russians are attempting to break through the Ukrainian army's defense to continue their offensive toward Kurakovivka. Over the past 24 hours, there have been no deaths with only six soldiers wounded. The Ukrainian armed forces are trying to forcibly evacuate the remaining residents from the settlement. The Ukrainian army is successfully counter-attacking the occupiers in the settlement of Chasivyar, Donetsk region, and is gradually pushing the Russian army out of the town. It's important to note that in recent days the area has witnessed intense fighting. According to the general staff, 25 soldiers were killed and 18 were severely wounded over the past 24 hours. The fighting continues without pause, and our informant reports that soldiers on both sides are extremely exhausted which is evident on the battlefield. We hope for a swift rotation of forces from the Ukrainian armed forces. In Turetsk, Donetsk region, daily urban battles continue. Enemy artillery and guided aerial bombs are turning the city's buildings into ruins. Despite the devastation, civilians, including children, remain in this inferno. The presence of high-rise buildings, where the enemy often hides, complicates the fighting in this area. Over the past 24 hours, much of the work has been done by FIV drones, which help track the enemy using thermal imaging cameras. It is also known that in recent days, Ukrainian defenders have managed to significantly slow down the Russian army's advance. If you support Ukraine, and appreciate my work, please subscribe. Every day, I spend a lot of time analyzing the situation to bring you the latest information